Hi there, Sandy Freshy here. Thanks for tuning into this video. Today's topic is how to love the generator energy type in your life. So if you have a partner who's a generator or a child who's a generator or anyone close to you who's a generator energy type, this video is for you. Also, if you are close to a manifesting generator, this video is kind of the groundwork for the next video that I will be making about how to love manifesting generators. If you are one of those energy types, uh, tune into this video as well because you may get some insights about how you need to be loved or what makes you feel loved. So, number one, don't expect your generator to initiate actions. Now, when we're looking specifically at your design and, and your partner's design or your child's design or your friend's design, there are all kinds of little nuances in there that are beyond the scope of this particular video. But in general, when we're just purely looking at the generator, Generators are not designed to initiate. They need something tangible to respond to with their gut response. And when you're expecting your generator to just get up and do it, to, to just make it happen, most likely it's not going to happen unless they have something to respond to. So... Uh, there's a give and take in relationships and sometimes there, if there are two generators in a relationship, you're doing the response thing back and forth and there are uh, specific ways that you can kind of practice this, which is again beyond the scope of this particular video. But when you just take the pressure off and allow them to find their way through their own gut intuitive knowing their gut response, their sacral response, as it's known in traditional human design. You are giving them space to truly be themselves, to truly move in the direction that is uh, best for them. And if you're in relationship with them and there's that groundwork of trust and connection, then it's probably going to be a direction that's good for you as well. Although we don't have control over that ultimately, but you kind of get my drift there. So don't expect them to initiate actions. Wait for them to respond. Number two, ask them specific questions so that they have something to respond to. Now, generators who are adults a lot of times have had a history of not being asked what they want or being asked what they want in a way where they can't really um, respond to it and know what it is. So to shortcut this process, if you get into the habit of just asking your generator what they want in yes and no questions rather than the, the typical open-ended questions that we tend to go into when we're exploring possibilities and brainstorming, which has its place. But in terms of having that connection with the, the true expression of that one that you love, ask them yes and no questions. So let's make this concrete and talk about when you have a generator child. You know, you don't want to ask them, what do you want for dinner? Because you're not going to get a response and they're going to continue to engage in whatever they're playing with because that's the tangible thing they're responding to. If you give them a choice, you know, that's a, a great thing with parenting is to give children choices. But in this case, you're, you're giving them something to respond to. So if you give them a choice of, do you want macaroni and cheese? And leave it at that, you will probably get an uh-huh or an uh-uh response. Or if you have a generator partner who's already an adult and hopefully they're tuned in and tapped into their sacral response, you can do the same thing. You can ask them, do you want to go and see this movie? Say what the movie is if you want to get really specific and let them respond to that. Now, sometimes if they have an emotional authority, it may take a little time. 
But this is actually a great source of frustration in a relationship with a generator because a lot of times generators can't articulate what they want unless there's something to respond to. Something specific, one single thing, not a whole buffet of things. And if you've gotten that response from the generator in your life or no response from the generator in your life, and you've asked them what they want, it's probably because they don't know because they haven't had that tangible thing to respond to, that one tangible thing that helps them to weed out and get closer to what they really want. So get in the habit of asking yes and no questions. Do you want to take out the garbage right now? That's a great one. And if they don't want to, let them say, "Uh uh-uh. And then you can go from there, right? And that will clear up a lot of this second guessing or I don't know if they heard me, they never listened to me. All of those little stories that go on in your head when there's this this lag time of uh, them not being able to tell you what it is that they truly want, what it is that's truly um, that they, they're responding to. So uh, number one, don't expect them to initiate. Number two, Ask them very specifically in yes and no questions what they want and let them respond. Respect that response. That's 2A. And number three, recognize that work stress is life stress for the generator. So a lot of times generators will be experiencing stress through their work that may feel like stress in your relationship because generators are naturally hardwired to uh, be focused upon their work. Now this is a nuance I guess that you want to pay attention to. So sometimes it's not really personal when they're feeling frustrated. It may have something to do with the quality of their work, their satisfaction in their work, because this is a lot of the theme of what generators are about. So allow them that space to kind of work out their work stress. Recognize, first of all, that their frustration could be stemming from work stress and not personal relationship stress. And this is a good place, again, to go back and ask them specifically, are you having work stress? Is there something you're frustrated about in our relationship? Those are great, great clarifying questions for generators that will really help you to forge a deeper bond. And if you give them that space to kind of work it out, to find their way through their own response, rather than to expect them to just quit their job and find another one and whatever else you think they need to do or they think they need to do, then this is going to allow for less stress in the connection between the two of you and for more flow and ease and satisfaction in their lives. So don't expect them to initiate. Ask them specific yes and no questions. Let them respond and recognize a lot of times that their frustration may have to do with work stress and not the stress in the relationship. And you can go back to yes and no questions to clarify that. So if you have a generator in your life, I'd love to know what your experiences are. And if you are a generator, please leave your comments to let us know how you experience your relationships, what your frustrations are, and enlighten us to your experience about how you feel that you need to be loved. So thanks for tuning in and until the next time, be well.